The Royal County of Batchester was established in 1909, originally held at Enborn Gate Farm on the 28th of September. The show's primary focus was to replace the previous horse racing. It developed into a two-day weekend event in 1976 and has taken place all over Newbury, but finally finding its home in 1984 when the Newbury showground was purchased. Rating is one of the best agricultural shows in England. It continues to move from strength to strength, constantly improving and developing. Featuring everything from arts and crafts, to the parade of the hounds, to the opening quad bike stuntman, the kangaroo kid, there's no better place to lend a hand. Hi, we're here at the Royal County of Buck show, and we're here to record the volunteers that work here and what that they do. Hi, I'm here with Shelley, who is currently volunteering in the food court, which I think is a great experience. So let's jump straight into the questions. What is your job as a volunteer at the moment? Um, to make sure that the whole um, food fair runs smoothly so that people um, can come in and get out really easily. Um, make sure all the, the people in the food fair are quite happy with their plots that they have and uh, it's just the general running of um, the f full food fair really. So how long have you been a volunteer at the Newby Show? I've been um, volunteering for five years now and just in the food hall. Is just in the food hall nowhere else? Yes, nowhere else. So have you volunteered at the show before? Uh, not since um, five years ago. The only time that I've volunteered is for the food fair. My husband, um, who is with me at the moment, um, doing um, work in the food fair. He's done um, outside rings before, but not me. So what would you say to someone who is considering being a volunteer at the show? Uh, I'd say definitely come and be a volunteer because it's, you know, exciting and everybody's so friendly and I've really enjoyed it in the, over the last five years. It's been tremendous. <laughs> Hi, I'm with Philip in the Education 10, just asking him a couple of questions about his job as a volunteer. So hi Philip, how are you? Very well, thank you. No problem. So first question, uh, what's your job as a volunteer? Uh, so my job is to work between the show and a lot of the local farmers promoting some of the local competitions. And today I've been working on the Harvest Centre where we've got lots of crop competitions and people's produce has been judged from around the county. Um, and I've been basically stewarding to look after that. And alongside that, I work on the PR committee here, um, trying to promote the show to the wider audience. So have you been a volunteer here before? Uh, yes, I have, yeah. I've been doing it for a couple of years now. How long have you been doing it for, like, exactly, or just around it? Uh, about two and a half years. Okay. Have you just been doing the harvest part of it, or that, or have you done other things? Uh, well, I started off just doing the harvest part, but then they've recruited me onto the PR committee as well to try and get social media and things going, so that's a more recent okay. um, position for me. So a bit more diverse? Yep, absolutely, yep. So what would you say to someone who is considering being a volunteer at the Newbie Show? Uh, I'd say get involved, really. Um, there's lots of different things you can do. It's... Um, it's good fun and you never know who you might meet in the process. So it's just like a new experience that everyone should try if they get the opportunity to do the show? Absolutely, yeah. Um, all sorts of opportunities can come from it as well because you just don't know who you're going to meet or what you're going to learn when you come and do it. Hi, I'm with Linda in the Animal Tent, so let's just get straight into the questions. So, so how long have you been a volunteer at the Newbie Show? Um... Quite a long time. We used to volunteer with the goats and with the sheep, I don't know, five, four or five years, I suppose, or maybe longer. Just a bit longer. Have you always been a volunteer at this show, uh, this show or have you been a volunteer at any other shows? No, only this one. So if you had the opportunity to talk to someone who was thinking about being a volunteer at the Newbie Show, what would you say to them? Would you give any advice? or? Yes, I think it's good. I mean, you, you come here, you can wander around, you know, when you're not actually doing the work. And yeah, it's good fun. Do you think it's a good experience for people, you know, like first-timers? Yes, yeah. <laughs> I'm with Ian, who is Chief Steward of Car Park Traffic and Gates. Hi, how are you? Yeah, very good, thanks. Good, good. Uh, let's get straight into the questions. So, how long have you been a volunteer for at Newbury Show? On and off, about 40 years. 40 years? Jeez. I started very young. <laughs> I first came to the, uh, the show 
when it was at Siege Cross with my father, and it's a one-day show, and we used to put all the sheep, fe- sheep pens up on about 6.30 in the morning. 6.30 in the morning is quite early compared to now, isn't it? No, uh, we get here at five, got here at 5.30 this morning. 5.30? Why so early? There's a lot to do. Yeah. When you've got exhibitors coming in first thing on the Saturday morning, you've got to make sure all the gates are open, car park contractor knows exactly what he's doing, and then all the ticketing people are, are in place and ready. We now use scanning machines for tickets, which um, has its own problems in itself. As a volunteer yourself, what would you say to someone who is considering being a volunteer at Nibby Show? I'd encourage them to get involved um, as young as possible, as early as possible, and as soon as possible, because uh, mo- a lot of the volunteers are retired. I'm not, but a lot of them are and we have almost missed a generation um, we could do with some some more under 20s to be honest with you. Yeah, like a younger audience just to see what it's not, like for not them. a younger audience we could just do with more people getting involved i know it's difficult because people go off to university mm. and then they go to work and they're busy to have children um, whereas probably 30 years ago a lot more people have more time to put into this this event. Yeah, like nowadays it's not. Yeah, people don't really have as much time as they used to back then. No, they don't. Yeah, Nowhere near. That's unfortunate, isn't it? But you know, is it a good experience to start off with? It's a good exper- experience. There's some good people here. There's some good. F- there's some good fun times to be had too. Okay, that seems it's quite good. All work, work, work. We do have a quite a yeah. quite an, a laugh on okay. the build up to the show. Yeah. If you could sum your experience up in the past forty odd years that you've been here or phrase, what would it be? Great experience. Community spirit. Uh, hard work but fun. Uh, it'd be satisfying, I think. Is it just, is it just you love it that much? I, I really enjoy it. I, I like to see the show uh, prosper and get stronger and stronger. Um, as I say, having been involved with it for, for forty years, um, it just needs to need some younger blood to come through and have better up more better yeah. ideas and fresher young blood in here to with fresh fresher ideas fresh exactly right fresher thank minds, you right. yeah well done so this concludes our time at the show i hope you enjoyed yourselves and for those that are watching this i hope you like it on with the future thank you for watching